Look at this question. Question number four one. A block of mass five kg is suspended from the end of a vertical spring, which is stretched by ten centimeter under the load of block. So we have a spring which is hanging an object. Okay, and the stretch is given. The stretch is x equal to ten centimeter. Mass of the object is given five kg. Okay, and the spring is stretched by ten centimeter. The block is given sharp impulse. from below so it is given a sharp impulse from below so that it acquires upward speed of 2 meter per second so it acquires a speed of 2 meter per second from this position how, how high will it rise okay so how high will it rise so for this what are the data which are provided to us first let us see that the initially expansion was 10 cm and the mass is 5 kg so first we will try to find the spring constant because spring constant is not given So first we will find k. So how do you find k? Since the spring was supporting a weight of five kg, we can write mg will be equal to kx. Initially, when the object was in equilibrium, when object was at rest, object was at rest or at equilibrium, the mg was equal to kx. The mg downward weight is balancing with. K x spring force, so K we can find here. So K is m g by x. So m is five kg, g is ten meter per second square, and x was ten centimeter. Okay, so ten by hundred meter. So how much we are getting? So ten ten cancelled. So we are getting five hundred newton per meter. So this is the value of spring force. Okay, now come to the main part of question. it is given a velocity 2 meter per second and the object is moving upward and how high will it rise that is the question so given sharp impulse it requires speed this how high will it rise so after giving after the speed is given the object will rise upward and at highest point it will stop for a moment and then it may return back okay so at highest point the velocity will become zero the initial speed if you at highest point this is at highest point the speed will become zero at highest point before returning back the speed will become zero okay so what we can write is since all forces are uh, what there are two forces only gravity while it is moving upward only gravity and spring force are there so there is no external force so external work done is zero so what we can write is change of kinetic energy plus change of potential energy spring plus change of gravitational energy both will come here okay and external work done is zero so we can write like this so change of kinetic energy so change of kinetic energy so initial kinetic energy is corresponding to 2 meter per second and finally it will stop so final is half mv square initial is half mu square then change of spring potential energy okay so suppose it height it rises by height h suppose the height which it rises is h then what will be the spring potential energy change so initially it was expanded by x and finally it will be expanded by x minus h because it has rised by x okay so uh, final it will be half k Uh, x minus h. Why I am writing x minus h? Because initially it was expanded by x, and now as it is going upward by h, the compression in final configuration is x minus h, and initial con uh, configuration was in the in initial configuration the compression was the expansion was x, and in final configuration the expansion is x minus h. The x minus h is expansion. when at highest point okay so that thing we have written and then we will write gravitational potential change so since the object is rising by height h we can write mg at the increase of gravitational potential energy so this thing we can write so this u uh, the v is zero so we can write minus half mass mass is how much 5 kg Five u is how much? Two, two square. Okay, 
u is given 2 meter per second square then we have uh, half k is how much 500 and x minus h so x was 10 centimeter so x was 10 so 1 by 10 minus h half to 500 then plus how much is mass mass is 5 kg into g g is 10 into h so this we have to solve okay 5 into g to 10 so this thing we have to solve so if you solve it one step uh, minus 10 then if you open this bracket so we have a square term here so it's 250 and if you open this bracket it will be 1 by 100 plus h square minus 2h by 10 minus this is 500 by 200 okay so 5 by 2 and then we have plus 50h equal to 0 okay so if you solve it more it is minus 10 plus 250 by 100 plus h square by h square into 250 then if you multiply this 250 into 2h by 10 and then we have 5 by 2 plus 50h okay so these two things are cancelled you can see that 250 into 2 is 500 by 10 and that is cancelled with this one so what we are left with we are having 250h square equal to the 10 will go other side minus uh, that is 250 by 100 and then the minus will become plus 5 by 2 this thing we are going to get so that is uh, 10 minus 2.5 and we have uh, minus 2.5 and this is also what this is also 2.5 this two will also get cancelled okay this two will also get cancelled so finally we are having only 10 so h is coming how much 10 by 250 under root okay so 1 by 25 under root 1 by 25 means how much 1 by 25 means 1 by 5 meters so 20 centimeters okay so this much will be the uh, rise in height okay so if we are getting h equal to 20 centimeter it means the object will rise further means beyond the equilibrium position see initially the spring was initially the spring was extended by 10 centimeter only and the height is coming 20 centimeter so it will reach to the equilibrium position yeah, uh, sorry it will reach to the relaxed position and then it will further rise 10 centimeter okay the spring was initially extended by 10 centimeter now it is going to natural length position then it is rising further by 10 centimeters. So the total height rise is 20 centimeters. Okay. So we are getting how much? The H is 20 centimeters. This will be the answer.